Have you been injured in an automobile accident? Call the law offices of Michael A. Friedman today for a free consultation. 410-363-6848. Let the experts at the law offices of Michael A. Friedman handle your case. Call today. 410-363-6848. 736 24 before the hour of 8 o'clock. And Tucker Carlson is one of the few people uh, over at Fox left with uh, any spine or conviction and will tackle the stories that most of the channel will not touch. And the only reason why he's allowed to is because he's got record ratings. Yeah. And because he uh, brings in record revenue. Uh, other than that, if it, uh, if it was just sort of a middle of the pack show, he'd already be gone by now. Uh, but uh, he did a piece last night. This is something we talked about in the past yes. here on the show about the uh, the coming food shortages. And the fact is that this is a national security issue. And uh, earlier, um, it was last year, uh, I think it was the G7, when Chairman Joe, Joe Biden said this about the coming food shortages in the world and in the United States. He had a long discussion uh, in the G7 with... Uh, um, the uh, with both uh, the United States, which has a, as a significant, the third largest producer of wheat in the world, as well as Canada, which is also a major, major producer. And we both talked about how we could increase and disseminate more rapidly food, sh- food shortages. How we could increase and disseminate rapidly more food shortages. Now, is that just a Joe Biden gaffe? Uh, is it Freudian, uh, or was there true intent there? I mean, I don't know what he meant by that. I'm, I'm taking him at his word. How do you increase and rapidly disseminate more food shortages? And what most of the media is not talking about, uh, half the, uh, the other side of the planet is starving. Yeah, There are food shortages right now in Pakistan, India, and the entire continent of Africa. Uh, and the worst food crisis in history is happening in the world right now, and we're ignoring it. Uh, most U.S. and European Union media are avoiding it altogether. Uh, and the fact is, they're blaming Putin, okay? But it's not Putin. Of course, his actions in Ukraine have affected Ukraine, which is a food right. producer. Uh, but elsewhere, we have basically Western energy policy. The impact of energy has on everything in the field, fertilizer, to, uh, to the fork, distribution, other factors include government policy that blocks food development. Uh, the Dutch, Irish, and Sri Lanka farmers have all had to deal with their governments trying to mess with their food production. A sudden uptick in food facilities having major fires and damage and a series of issues with the feed that goes in the production of proteins. Recently, uh, a woman was seen giving testimony regarding her uh, Purina makes uh, something called uh, uh, Pure Protein or Pure yeah. something. I can't remember what the name of the brand is, but it's chicken feed and cattle feed. And uh, they took uh, the chickens off of the feed, and all of a sudden they were laying eggs again. Hens that would not lay eggs for six, seven, eight months had started to lay eggs again when they came off this feed. Now, combine that with this Western push at the uh, Davos of eating insects. And you can see uh, the insects already showing up in our stores and on our shelves, it seems to me they're trying to supplant some of our current food proteins with the quote unquote climate friendly proteins of insects. Now, I'm going to be called a conspiracy theorist for this, but I want to look at the numbers. Let's check the data, shall we? Uh, in the year 2019, there were 10 incidents of food processing plants having major fires or accidents. 10. Uh, 10. In 2020, there were 26. In 2021, there were 33. Last year, counting through August, there were over 100. Over 100 food processing plants, quote unquote, accidents, fires, planes all of a sudden, thinking that there are uh, airports landing into the food processing plants. And uh, we have uh, in uh, Connecticut, just in the last couple of weeks, a massive egg farm. 100,000 chickens were killed in a fire and uh, imagine what that's going to do to the egg prices, which are already high to begin with. That When you follow the data, either I mean, you can correlate a couple things. Number one, either people that are running these plants are a lot more careless, and uh, we're getting all these kinds of accidents, or there's something else that is going on. And I don't know what the answer is here, uh, Bruce, but if you look at these numbers, why all of a sudden the massive 
exponential increase in uh, fires and accidents at these plants. I would have to take a look at the data to make sure they're actually comparing apples to apples as far as the yearly number of uh, fires and plant closures and so forth. But assuming the data are correct that you're talking about, I have no explanation for why a sudden jump. Uh, and I hesitate to go the conspiracy route, but uh, the impact on a real level is it does now cost us more to get stuff that we assumed would not cost us all that much more eggs. Um, you know, I have a hard boiled egg every day. So I'm going through seven eggs a week, uh, and a dozen eggs is now significantly more expensive uh, than it was before. I'm thinking if you about, can find if them. If you can find them. Uh, right. uh, yeah, if, if you want to buy a, a, a new sofa or a new car or a new anything, uh, it is significantly more expensive. Now, there are two reasons for that. One is, of course, inflation means the dollars you have will simply not go as far, so the merchant needs more of those dollars to pay for what they have paid for but the idea that somebody, uh, some government, some entity, some individual, is deliberately trying to torpedo our food supply is a frightening kind of prospect. I have to look at the data. Well, I, I think you should. I think Congress should look at it and, and investigate what the hell is going on. And are these plants, and, and again, we're talking about most of them are fires. There are a few other accidents here, chemical uh, reactions. And look, I understand they're going to be industrial accidents. You, worry, you have a food processing plant, things happen. Yeah. Uh, there are going to be fires, fires, break, but the, the increase in numbers uh, in, from year to year, from 33, and through August, it was over 100. And so we didn't even run the, the numbers for the last three months of August. It could be 150. We have no idea. Uh, and so th this is, I think, uh, we, we've, heard, we've heard this before. We've heard uh, people say that, uh, you know, they, they could attack our food supply and our water supply, and that would be much more effective than a nuclear attack would be on the United States. Oh, attack on the water supply would be devastating. Right. I mean, truly devastating.